What is going on YouTube? This is Ipsec here, and I wanna change things up because Hack the Box is launching something new that I'm really excited about. So I wanna do an unofficial video of the Hack the Box seasons. And what has me most excited is hopefully this appeals to both competitive and non-competitive people. The competitive people that think they have what it takes to be the best, well, everything's starting today. So you don't have to go solve all the old Hack the Box content to be on top of the leaderboard. So what are you waiting for? Just go do it, right? Um, if competition isn't for you and you just want rewards, we have that for you as well with the um, tier system. And essentially what that means is as long as you play in the Hack the Box seasons for the next 13 weeks, you'll get some type of reward, whether it's VIP, academy courses, discount on Pro Labs. Um, there's plenty of rewards. So um, definitely check it out. It starts today. Each box only gives points for one week. So the longer you wait, the chances of missing out on points week one go away. So um, definitely do it. But with that being said, let's just get into the blog post and explain what a season is. Here we are. And the first thing I want to hit on before we go too in depth with the blog is the first season we're going to dub the beta season. And I don't mean beta in the sense that it's an incomplete product. We think it's gonna be good. We just don't think it's legendary without your feedback. There's gonna be a lot of things we wanna change in the upcoming seasons. So we didn't wanna have like season one and two be completely different. So we just dubbed this the beta season. Um, we definitely want your feedback. There's gonna be a lot of things we change. Some things could be like how long boxes get points for. Right now, each box only gives points for one week. If you want it two, three, or maybe the entire season, let us know in the feedback. Also, we may change up rewards as things go on. So definitely just let us know what you would prefer to see in the seasons, right? So the first thing is um, it allows you to compete against the best or against yourself. The key thing is you find friends and hack together because um, while we do give rewards, VIP, Academy, whatever, um, the main reward is just what you're gonna learn by playing Hack the Box over 13 weeks. And what helps me isn't really the rewards, it's just finding friends, making friends, and learning together. So definitely hop in the Discord, check out the people playing this beta season. The next thing is gonna be the leaderboard. Um, everything's starting today. The old leaderboard still exists, and after one week, the machine won't give points in the season, but it won't be retired, no write-ups or anything. Um, season is really just a add-on to Hack the Box. It's not changing things just yet. So the points, super simple. It's just a set number of points. Each box has two bloods. That's the user and the root blood. And um, there's only first blood for each of those. There's no like first, second, third blood. A lot of people want that, but Hack the Box started with three bloods. And we kind of moved away because we found teams just got all the bloods and it really penalized people playing uh, by themselves. Another thing I've heard a lot of people kind of want and we thought about a lot is like degrading the points per day. So like maybe um, an easy box gives 20 points for a user on day one, day two, maybe it gives 18, day three, it gives 16. But again, we didn't want to penalize people for not playing on Saturday, right? If you're not trying to be the very first one to solve the box, there's really no difference between you completing the box Saturday, Wednesday, or Friday. The key thing is you just complete the box within seven days. So the points, super easy. Um, challenges and all that type of stuff went away. It's just going to be machines for seasons, at least in the beta. If you want challenges and have more points throughout the week, let us know in the feedback, right? That's things that are gonna be changing in the future seasons. So let's get over to the tier system. And this is my favorite thing about it because it gives the platform a way to give rewards for people just playing on it, right? So there's 13 weeks, which means there's gonna be 26 flags, two flags per week, uh, user and root. And for hollow, if you get 24 of those flags, you're hollow, right? If you get 17 out of the 26 flags, which is just over half, you're platinum. If you get just under half, which is 11 out of 26, we're gonna consider you ruby. If you get four out of 26, that's gonna be silver. And at bronze, that is just one flag. And we're gonna give rewards at each of these levels trying to gear it towards um, what we think that level really needs. And if we're wrong, let us know in the feedback, right? The one thing that's changed since doing this blog post is Platinum actually gets 150 Academy Cubes. So we wanted Platinum and Hollow to be pretty much the same, but if you've completed almost every box, um, you may have also completed every Academy module. So we wanted to make what we give you able to use anywhere on the website. So you can get VIP, you can get a discount on Pro Labs, you can get um, whatever you need, right? 
And at the swag store, we're also gonna give you $10. So if you wanted to buy a hoodie, you get a nice discount on that as well. For platinum, uh, we're gonna give you 150 Academy Cubes. I know it says 100, but we changed that. And that's essentially $15 on the Academy to do a tier one or two module. And um, Ruby is gonna get 50 Academy Cubes with a $10 Academy or Hack the Box gift card. So you can either get like VIP with your $10 or use that for Academy and get 150 cubes there as well. Not a huge difference between Platinum and Ruby, right? And if we look at the modules to see exactly what you get, tier two are all gonna be um, 100 cubes, I believe. And that's going to let you take courses like the Linux and Windows Privesque I'd highly recommend. Um, another one that I like a lot is the Active Directory Enumeration and Attacks. I'm gonna open that in a tab so we can go over everything in that. Uh, there's a pivoting module. Attacking Enterprise Networks is also really, really good. So if you just look at the Academy, uh, Active Directory Enumeration and Attacks, you can see everything. Like it's showing you how to do password spraying from Linux, Windows, living off the land, Kerber roasting, ACL enumeration, um, bleeding edge vulnerabilities, attacking trust. Like this is a really, really good um, module. There's also the attacking enterprise networks that has a little bit less in terms of the sections, but don't let that fool you. This module has a lot. And again, if you just get the module by playing the season, you're not paying for this. It's completely free, right? So let's get back into this. Um, the top players rewards, there's, if you're in the top five, you're gonna get $300 or a gift card and also a swag pack. You also get a trophy, which Roadrunner, also known as Sodi, really does a great job picking out trophies. I think each trophy cost us multiple hundred dollars. They're just really, really nice. Um, we didn't want to give a prize different between like one and two because we imagine a lot of people in the top five are gonna be the same team and we didn't want the teams actually competing within each other, right? So everyone in the top five just gets a trophy. The trophy is going to be engraved with your place on it. So I guess that also is a little bit unique between places one, two, and whatever. Um, six to 10 gets $60. 11 to 25 gets $50. Both those are in the form of a gift card. So let's now get down to the frequently asked questions. And the first one is, what is exactly changing between the old way of doing things? And really... Not that much. We're just adding a new reward system, right? Um, even though the boxes only get give points in the seasonal mode for one week, there's still gonna be the old scoreboard and the machine's going to last there for about 20 weeks. So if you don't really care about season, you can kind of ignore it in that aspect. Who is seasonal mode for? We've already talked about this. It's gonna be for both the competitors and just people that play Hack the Box. It's really not just for one person. It is for everyone, right? Is one week long enough to solve each machine? Um, answer is, none of us know, right? That's up to you to decide. And you decide that by giving us feedback if we're right with just one week. Again, if you want more or less, um, let us know in the feedback. Uh, will seasonal machines be on Release Arena? And I guess this is yes and no, right? Release Arena is really just being renamed to Seasons. Seasons going to behave the same way of Release Arena. If you're new to Hack the Box and don't know what Release Arena is, it's our way to give the machine that releases a dedicated instance to every single player, even the free accounts on Hack the Box for the first four or five days of release. So that way it's not a pay to win thing and that everyone gets their own dedicated box. There's no sharing the box so other people can't really make it unstable for you since you get your own box, even if you're not a paying customer of Hack the Box, which I really like. Um, where do I go to play Seasons? You'll have to go to um, the Hack the Box website. It'll be app.hackthebox.com. If you just type hackthebox.com, you will be directed there and we'll show you in just a minute. What about challenges? Um, seasons will not include challenges and game fortresses. It's only going to be machines to keep it simple. Um, if you want to add challenges, let us know in the feedback and we'll definitely consider that. Um, the enterprise platform, this is for our businesses and the season is only going to be on what we call the main platform. So if you have a business account and want to play, um, definitely use just the regular hackthebox.com website. Uh, there are two interfaces to hack the box. We call it V1 and V2. The old interface uh, will not be able to play seasons, unfortunately. So you'll have to go to, again, the V2 website, which looks like this.
And the last question, are teams allowed? Well, the scoreboard is only individual, right? But players are free to make teams and collaborate. Just don't share entire solutions of the box until it retires, which will take about 20 weeks. So with all this being said, let's just hop into the website and see exactly how we access it. So we just click on this open beta season. And if it was launched, uh, we'd see something here. Right now, there's just an hour and 56 minutes. If you want some quick notes on how to play, you can click through this and see the explanation. It'll go over connecting to a VPN as well, which we'll do in just, um, I guess, an hour and 56 minutes. So I'm gonna do some video editing here and I'm just gonna jump forward in time. Okay, so the season has now started. I can click on Spawn Machine and it's gonna take probably, well, <laughs> not even a few seconds. Couldn't formulate my words, but we have the machine spawned already. So what we need to do now is connect to the seasonal VPN. So I clicked on connect to HTB. I'm going to click here and I'm gonna select open VPN because that's the way I always like connecting. Um, US competitive, US release lab one, that looks good. And I can download my VPN file. It should just go into my downloads and I'll just move it over to my VPN directory. So let's do move, downloads, what was it called? Competitive IPSEC, move it here. Uh, let's do that with sudo. And then I can do sudo open VPN, competitive IPSEC, and I am connected. So I'm going to, uh, let's make directory agile, go into this directory and make sure we can talk to it, right? So ping, let's just copy this by clicking. Uh, that copied too much, I think. There we go. And I can see, I can ping the box. So let's make the directory nmap. I'll do a nmap-sc for default scripts as v enumerate versions, OA, I'll put all formats, put in the nmap directory and call it agile. And then the IP address, which is 10.129.27.229. Now, this can take a while, so I'll just see you when this box retires. Take care, everyone, and I hope you enjoy the competitive model. And soon as I wrapped up the video, I forgot I wanted to mention one last thing, and that is how to give feedback. There is a type form link in the description below, so you just click on that. It's a quick 10 question survey. The last question is open-ended, so you can just type anything you want there. Um, and that'll be it. So hope you enjoy the season. Take care guys, and I'll see you all next time.